Often in coaching, we start with contracting. I ask you, what do you want to get out of this video? Uh, at the end, how do you want to feel? What do you want to know? What do you want to be different? What I want to do is share with you a little bit about the coaching skills of using emotions and imagination and a technique that you can practice to help you feel your way into the future, even when things are very unclear. Right now, there are a lot of people who are in a place where the future is incredibly uncertain and it feels overwhelming. And people might be saying to you, well, what are you gonna do next? Or what's gonna happen after? Probably, you're, <laughs> you don't know. In a way, it's comfortable to make plans. And there's this illusion of certainty. If we can shift our thinking about making plans, here's how we can use this emotion coaching tool to make that happen. So the first step is you can go for a walk, you can sit back in your comfy chair, you can close your eyes, relax, and just imagine. Imagine yourself a few months from now, you're going about your day, you're with other people, you're by yourself. What does it feel like? And, and don't focus on what you're doing or what's happening or what's around you. I really want you to focus on those feelings. And there's not just one feeling. There are lots of different feelings. Maybe you have some curiosity. Maybe you have some excitement or worry or stress. Maybe there's something surprising, something exciting. Maybe you feel a sense of anticipation and looking forward. Maybe you feel some doubt and uncertainty. Maybe you're jealous. Maybe you're hopeful. Maybe all of those. Just let those feelings be. Don't say, I should have this or I shouldn't have this. One of the key coaching skills is to listen without evaluating. I want you to use this coaching skill with yourself and your own emotions. Use this coaching skill of open curiosity. And it sounds like this. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I wonder what's going on there. Huh, I'm curious about that. And just notice those emotions bubbling up. Think what you'll find is as you do this, your plans won't get more clear. You won't know what to do, but you'll know more about who you want to be in whatever it is that you're doing. This is a basic truth of emotional intelligence. Our emotions are real and they matter. They matter because they affect you and they affect the people around you and they affect the world. So as we tune into emotions and we use this coaching technique, and we work on the, the benefits of coaching our own emotions, we start to see something different in the future. Try it out and let me know what happens in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you what happens when you try this emotion imagination coaching out. Hi, I'm Josh Friedman. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it like it, subscribe, comment. That really helps us with our work to bring emotional intelligence to everyone in the world. These are skills that are really needed in the world right now, and we need you to help us help others.